Greetings, denizens of the internet. I am making a video on this because I think this is a cool thing. So, Wizards is introducing a new type of booster called the Value Booster. This is what they look like. Green, you know, can contain up to two rares. And... Collector boosters are perfect for fans who want all the coolest cards, and play boosters are built to bolster collection by being opened. Value boosters are a smaller, lighter booster that can contain a handful of new cards for any fan can enjoy. A budget-friendly way to experience Bloomberg. I like this. I think this is good. Because it gives a lower price point for people to interact with magic. And while, yeah... People are mad that Wizards isn't lowering the price. At the same time, think about it. Magic cards can be worth a lot. And if this set succeeds and there's, you know, a card in it that ends up being a couple hundred bucks the chance to pull it from this pack is still there. It's just less of a chance because you're paying less money. And that makes perfect sense, in my opinion, because I feel that magic has gotten a little inaccessible as of late. And magic's competitors, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh!, have had packs of a similar nature in places like gas stations and stuff like that. And Magic doesn't didn't have that luxury. So I'm thinking this could be a way for people in more sparse areas can find Magic cards from sets. And I think this is a good idea. And yeah... Call me a contrarian or weirdo for thinking this, but honestly, I like this. And you know what? I'm optimistic. Yeah, sure, we're getting product fatigue. But remember that what Wizards of the Coast takes time to implement suggestions from the player base. Like... You know, it took them a couple months to stop, like, making, like, think of it this way. Wizards of the Coast, they make magic sets, right? So, Bloomboro is ready to come out, right? But they're working on the horror set, and they're finishing that up right now. And then possibly the next two sets right now. So any suggestions the player base gives them will be staggered, usually by like one, three to f four sets, I've noticed. And I think that eventually, Wizards of the Coast will tone down the release times. That's my idea, or at least my train of thought here. Um, but I don't know if it's a fact, but you know, they're hearing us, from what I can tell. It's just taking a minute. Because they still have to release everything. And yes, this looks like an Aftermath booster. But it's probably going to be cheaper than an Aftermath booster. Because if it's not, then it's not a value booster. The thing is... I like how it looks because it says value on it right now. But I won't be certain for sure until I see the prices. Because pricing is key here. If it's still expensive, there may be issues. Because regular packs in my area, that being Ohio, are... 
$10 to $20 a pack, depending on the set, the amount of powerful cards in said set, you know, things like that. And a regular pack for even like a failing set can still be eight to ten dollars. And I want to see this be priced at four to five so that those of us who can't afford to pay ten dollars for a pack of cards and get all commons don't have to do that. Like, this is seven cards. A regular pack has, what, 11 to 12? That's still a little over half. Even if one of those happens to be an ad card, that's still six cards. You're not getting scammed here. Like, that's still, like, over half. If only slightly. And you know what? It was about time Watts he introduced a new pack type anyway. I mean, those of us in poorer neighborhoods can't really afford to buy multiple regular packs. And when you think about it, a value booster, if it's half the price of a regular booster pack, technically that gives you more chances to get a rare because each pack can contain up to two, correct? And with regular packs, I think there's like, what, three to four rares sometimes? So you're still getting that value if you want it. It just comes at a cheaper price point. And you get slightly more cards out of it if you buy two of these instead of a regular pack. At least that's if they're half the price. If they're like almost the same price, then there's no point buying this. It's a scam. But I'm trying to be optimistic because this eternal fog of pessimism in this community is a little corrosive and kind of annoying like come on people yes per uh, perpetual hype sucks but at the same time this i think this is a genuinely good development in all honesty because it's just a good idea like Think about it. This would be the pack you wouldn't just see at the card store. You know? Like, yeah, sure, at select retailers. So that means if it's too exclusive, it could still make the game highly inaccessible. But if they do this right and just release it to as many retailers as they can, this could potentially just revive like pack buying in general because like you still get the excitement of opening a pack it's just smaller you know I mean that's all I really have to say on this um figured I'd make a video on it considering it's a new type of play booster or well just booster in general and well you know I wonder are they going to add these to arena like if they make these in paper and not arena like that would be annoying because it's so much easier to get 500 coins on arena than it is to get a thousand and you know a value booster would be good to get on Arena. <laughs> yeah, sure, it'd be half the cards, but, you know. And then again, booster packs on Arena are kind of smaller than in paper, so I don't know how that would translate. Probably pretty poorly, but, you know. 
the thought's there, at least in my head. Uh, yeah. Other than that, I don't really have anything else to really add to this. Most of the other uh, content creators seem to be against it, but I'm hopeful. I'm really hopeful for this. This is just good, in my opinion. <laughs>